are live! I'm super excited to see who is already all in here, and I'm just gonna kick it off with a big thank you for being here, first of all, because it means so much to me that you're giving uh, some of your sunny Thursday night to spend time with me to learn about um, what the heck this coaching thing is that you keep hearing about probably or that you've seen on social media and you're wondering what the frig is coaching tell me how you are doing this thing on the internet I don't understand so that's what I want to do tonight is just kind of break it down what is coaching what's my story how did I get into this in the first place what's it all about maybe cover some common fears and objections and then uh, proceed from there and you guys can make a decision if it is a good um, fit for you so I'm going to give it two seconds. I'm going to do a virtual cheers Beep. with all of you. I've got my little vino because balance, right? Yeah. Um, oh, what's up, Carly? Sweet. Okay, I'm just going to kick it off and I'm going to start and go into my story, first of all, just so you guys can kind of know, uh, if you don't already know my story, you can kind of know like where I'm coming from with all of this, okay? So I read a quote, uh, this one day and it said if you're not obsessed with the life you're living change it and this is so fitting for me because I was so okay with where or sorry I was so not okay with where I was at and I didn't know how to change my situation I didn't know how to change um, my health and fitness I didn't know how to not be sick anymore I didn't know how to get happy and stay happy and fulfilled and I just felt really stuck and so this quote really helps to explain where I was at Okay, um, this is where it all started. I was sick uh, all throughout my teen years. I was sick all throughout high school. I had the crappiest immune system of anybody that I knew, and that is not a bragging right. That is like, what happened to you, Marie? Poor child. Okay, I was sick all the time. I was hospitalized multiple times in high school. Um, just basically my immune system didn't work. Okay, I would get like a common cold and it would just mutate. And then over the next two months I would develop, like one time I developed tracheitis, which I learned one in a million people get. And I was in ICU for like five nights, almost had to have a tracheotomy, like that kind of sick. Not good. Okay, so obviously my body was crying for help. And it's not like I didn't eat healthy. It's not like I didn't work out. I was super athletic, all these things, but something had to give. So I developed celiac disease in my uh, in grade 11. I was diagnosed with celiac disease. I was diagnosed with like severe IBS, IBD that same year, the year after. And so I just dealt with all these gut issues and all these health problems and my immune system being really crappy and I was just really frustrated because whenever I went to my medical doctor they would always just say well yeah like you have IBS you have celiac disease you can't change that and I was always so frustrated because I knew I was like so what I just have to live with this like shitty <laughs> like, I just have to live with this now like that's not okay oh what's up Denzel and Sandy what's up Woo! so pumped to see you guys okay and I was like what I'm just supposed to like live with this now like I'm young I'm supposed to be healthy. I know the human body is supposed to work differently than this. Like, why am why I feel like I'm broken? Like, why am I not functioning properly? Okay, so I developed chronic headaches through all this, like joint pain, fatigue, life events, and all this other kind of stuff happened. Um, like depression, anxiety, like massive, massive health stuff, mentally and physically. Okay, so then enter winter of 2015. I started my internship uh, for teaching. I was in the College of Education. It was my second degree. It was my sixth year of university, or fifth year of university, excuse me. And I started my internship. And internship, if you guys aren't familiar, is totally unpaid, student exploitation. You work like 60 hour weeks for 17 or 18 weeks or something like that and you can't work during internship. And so I like did this internship and I was like, hey, this is it, this is me teaching, like this is where I'm supposed to be, this is like growing up and getting a real job. Finished my internship, went to Dominican Republic over uh, Christmas holidays, ate and drank like an animal because I was like, woo, I'm done, I can't wait to celebrate and reward myself with all this food and drink, right, like we tend to do. And I came home after the holidays and I was just so discouraged and I felt like crap, to be honest. You know, my body wasn't what I thought it should look like considering I was still trying to be active and still trying to eat well. And yes, I'd overindulged over the holidays, but that shouldn't attribute to this feeling. You know, I had this like really, really shitty body image and I was dealing with depression and anxiety and all these things. And I was like, man, like what is missing? Like, what am I doing wrong? I have two university degrees. I come from a good family. I'm a nice person. I, I'm educated. I'm kind, all these things. 
Um, you know, and I was just like, what's missing? Like, what is wrong with me that I'm not, I'm missing something. I don't get it. I don't understand what I'm missing. Okay. So this is how I'm feeling at this point. I go on Facebook and I'm doing my like regular scroll through Facebook with like comparing myself to everybody feeling terribly about where I'm at and where everybody else is. Right. You see all these like people who've lost weight and gotten engaged and they had a baby and they went to Hawaii for two years or whatever, just like live in the dream. And I was sitting there just comparing and feeling crappy about myself. And all of a sudden I saw this post from my friend Virginia and her and I had played team, uh, or team. We had played, uh, team Sask, um, volleyball together like years prior in like grade nine. I think we played team Sask volleyball. And I hadn't seen, I didn't even know I had her as a friend on Facebook and I hadn't seen her in years and she posted this picture and it was like, maybe she was like flexing in front of the mirror or something. And I was like, holy crap, she looks so happy and so healthy. I want to know what she's doing. So me, I'm not afraid to reach out to people. So I messaged her and I was like, dude, what are you doing? Like whatever you're doing, I need to do it. You look so happy and healthy and I'm craving that in my life right now. Please share with me what your secret is. And she expressed, she goes, I've been beach body coaching for the last year. I'm in pharmacy school and I've been doing these programs at home and drinking Shakeology every day and my whole life has changed and I make a weekly paycheck. And I was like, uh, what? How, what are you doing? How do you do this? I don't understand. And so she kind of explained further. We talked about it a little bit. It took me a couple of days to kind of decide. I was kind of on the fence because I have to do my research, especially with regards to food and nutrition uh, supplements because I'm celiac. I'm allergic to dairy. I'm allergic to preservatives. Like I've got all these different dietary restrictions that I have. So I had to do my research into this product. I was like, what the heck is Shakeology? Like, what is that stuff? It's probably just a protein powder. Nuh-uh, Marie, it's so much more than that. So I researched the crap out of this, said yes to Ginny, joined her group, literally three days into the challenge group. I did the 21 day fix with vegan chocolate Shakeology. Literally three days into the challenge group, I was like, Kate, I wanna be a coach. I don't know what it entails. You just look like you have so much fun. These groups are amazing. I already feel so fired up from checking into this group every day and like sending you my before pictures and talking about the sweaty selfies and recipes. And I was just like, I need to do this. I know I could do this. I'm a teacher, right? That's what I do. It's what I went to school for. I'm the oldest of six kids. Like I'm a nurturer. This is my jam, right? So I was like, man, I want to do what you do. Like share, please share. What are you doing? <laughs> and how do I do what you do? And so then I started coaching three days in, hadn't even seen physical results yet, but I knew up here and in here, I was like, there's something to this. I feel this sense of purpose and I feel drawn to try this out. If it doesn't work, what's the worst thing that happened? I tried, right? And I think that there's something totally respectful in that. So I messaged her, I joined her group, I signed up as a coach, and then that was it. And you know, and now here we are, no, I'm just kidding, I was gonna say, now here we are two years later, that's that. But by the end of the 21 days of that first challenge that I did, I was probably down like 10 pounds. I saw some really awesome physical wins, but so much more than that, I finally, for the first time in so many years, and I don't even know when before this I felt this way, I believed that I was capable of bettering myself for myself by myself for the first time if ever in ever I for, for the first time I was like oh my god I can do this for me by me here's the tools this is what I've been missing right because Beachbody isn't just selling products we're not just pushing like oh buy Shakeology right you'll lose a bunch of weight no this is a community. This is a lifestyle. This is the triangle of success, right? You've got fitness, nutrition, and support. All of that together, you're winning. There's no way that you can't win with that combination. But if you have any, if you're missing any of those legs, I've used triangle, but your table's gonna fall over, right? Because you're missing a certain leg. If you try to go at it with just fitness and not nutrition, nothing's gonna happen. If you try to go at it with hardcore nutrition, but you have no fitness and you have no accountability, you have no willpower slash want to get into emotional eating slash a birthday party is going to come and you're going to come up and you're going to throw it all to the wayside, right? You have to have all three together and that's why it's such an effective system. And that's why I'm so stoked on it all the time and so happy and proud to advocate for this, right? I would so not advocate for something that was BS. There's no way. And there's no way that I would get up and sacrifice like mornings or watching movies or some nights or whatever when I could have been out partying my face off, like sacrificing time and stuff in the short term to make this work for two years straight if it wasn't legit. I'm just, you know, I don't know. Just trust me on that one. It's legit. So I finished the program. I started coaching. 
I felt amazing. I don't really want to share where I'm at now with you guys until later, so maybe I'll do that after. But that's kind of where I started, okay? That's where I started coaching. I had no idea what I was getting into. Like, I literally became a coach, and I was like, okay, YouTube, how to be a coach? Like, what is this thing that I just said I would do, right? I know that I'm in this challenge group. I know I'm doing this program. I'm loving Shakeology. It's healing my IBS. The first thing that has ever worked to heal my IBS. Okay, for one second, really quickly, Let's talk about Shakeology, just really quick. I have a video that I can post in the group on why it's so awesome, so I'm not gonna go into crazy detail here, but for anybody that is not aware why Shakeology is so excellent. So, there's a lot of misconceptions that Shakeology is a protein powder. Eh, it is not, okay? And while it does boast 17 grams of protein per serving, it has a full amino acid profile, that's a good thing, your body needs protein to metabolize and do sweet things, okay? It is not a protein powder, it is a whole food proprietary blend, okay? It's a superfood meal replacement when you add a fruit and a fat. So Shakeology has a bunch of different categories, right? We've got uh, superfoods, antioxidants, okay? These fight free radicals in the body. These are your cancer fighters, your heart disease fighters, that kind of thing, okay? You've got your adaptogens, which are plants and herbs that are grown in, in naturally stressful environments like the side of a mountain that help your body better cope with stresses of the environment, stresses of intense physical exercises. Uh, stresses of high cortisol levels, right? That's your stress hormone. So you've got phytonutrients, adaptogens, you've got pre and probiotics. So what this does is it preps your gut to absorb the goodness of the whole food proprietary blend. This is really important because products that don't have a prebiotic and a probiotic in them, in their proper form and in their proper amount, by the way, too, from a quality source, when they don't have this, what happens is you're taking in this product and say you're drinking like, for example, Vega One gets compared a lot like, there's a reason Vega One is $40 at Walmart, okay? And Shakeology is $170 and not available at Walmart. There's a reason for that. It's because quality over quantity every single time, right? And so with Vega, what they can do, and I don't want to bash Vega, I used to drink it too, but it's just not the same quality. That's all it is, okay? It's not the same product. It's not the same quality. With Vega, what they can do is they can say, oh, now with antioxidants and now with probiotics. But what they don't have is because they don't have the right uh, levels and they don't have the prebiotics, your gut doesn't is not prepped to absorb those nutrients, so they just go right through you. When you go to the bathroom, see a big one, right? It just goes right through you and you don't absorb and so you don't get the benefits of what you're drinking. Anyways, I don't want to go into crazy details about Shakeology, but what I'm going to say about it is that this is actually the reason why I was so convinced with coaching because I dealt with this is gonna be TMI also for a lot of people, but I dealt with crazy IBS for a long time. Like, I've been a celiac for 10 years now, and anybody that deals with any kind of gastrointestinal autoimmune disease, you know how crappy, pun totally intended, it is when your gut is not right, okay? Like, I would go four or five days consistently without going to the bathroom. That's not okay. The toxicity in my body, like the levels of toxicity would just rise. I remember going to Mexico with Brandon the first year that we met. I didn't go to the bathroom the entire time we were in Mexico. For six days. Six days of eating and drinking in Mexico and not going to the bathroom and showing up in a bathing suit. And I was just like, I'm so miserable. Okay, I'm so miserable. Your gut actually has direct uh, neurons that go straight to your brain. It's actually called the second brain. I'm, this is biology now. We're getting into biology. Your gut has neurons that attach to your brain and it's like as intense and as a complex and comparable to your nervous system. Like it is, stuff goes on here and then it sends signals up here. So I was just not happy, right? So Shakeology is so massive for me because it first of all has boosted my immune system. It second of all has helped me heal my IBS, which is like the biggest miracle in the entire world. I was just distraught with this these stomach issues all this time. And so it's healed my IBS, which is crazy awesome, right? My immune system, my hair, skin, and nails, my energy levels are stable. I'm like borderline diabetic. And so that's massive. It's a low glycemic index food, which for anybody that is diabetes or knows about nutrition, you know that that's an amazing thing. It doesn't spike your blood sugar and dip it, right? Like a lot of other products are going to do. This is all natural goodness. And so this is why, this is one of the reasons why I'm so passionate about sharing this message and so passionate about helping people get started with um, coaching and with joining my groups and that kind of thing because Shakeology has truly changed my life and that can sound cheesy. I don't care because it's true. So anyways, that's it on Shakeology. I'm going to have a swig of wine because I feel like you guys might have a glass too and also because I'm talking very fast. Okay, I'm going to go on and if there's questions too, I'm going to address questions after the fact. 
I'm gonna talk about really quickly how Beachbody is unique because I have spoken with quite a few people who tell me Marie that sounds all fine and dandy but I have tried a company like that and it just didn't work for me okay I just wasn't the right type of person I'm not a salesperson I can't do what you do and that actually really bothers me because it tells me that I'm not doing my job as um, an educator and helping people to understand what I do and there are so many different modalities out there and so many different companies and if we're being honest nine out of ten are pushing a product can you agree on that okay so here's the deal as a beach buddy coach you become a network marketer and for a lot of people they hear network marketing and they're like ah run right away I'm on fire I don't want to get Jeremy ah see you later I don't want anything to do with that chill okay network marketing legitimately just means word of mouth marketing so for example when I go to a new restaurant I like and I find out that they have a bomb gluten-free dairy-free soup I'm all up in there being like everybody needs to try this gluten-free dairy-free soup at this new restaurant it's so amazing oh my god okay likewise when I go to a movie and it's brutal I'm gonna tell people not to go to the movie right I'm going to influence and sell my friends to do or to not do something to buy or to not buy something to see or to not see something based on my opinion right why do you think we go to Facebook a Facebook status when we're like who knows a good seamstress in the city Facebook status send it to the internet right that is network marketing it's just word-of-mouth marketing that's all it is and it's a really beautiful thing because it means that companies can no longer for the most part sway you just based on their advertising techniques right because word-of-mouth marketing means that their company and their product has to be legit and has to be genuine otherwise people are gonna know they're gonna find out they're gonna say this company is or is not genuine legit awesome and it's gonna ruin their reputation right word-of-mouth marketing is a beautiful thing so that's what we get to be part of when you become a Beachbody coach you get to become a network marketer so I'm gonna uh, go into this really quick because I sometimes I get sorry I just have notes beside me uh, uh, uh. okay yes I want to talk about this so like I said before when somebody comes to me and they're like hey I've kind of tried a, a company like that before it didn't work for me blah 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 like I don't want to sell products I don't want to get into that kind of thing this is what I say to them do we have products yes right like we have the top fitness programs in the entire world literally the best super trainers in the entire world got together with Beachbody and created these at-home workouts which you can do anywhere right you can do them at the gym you can do them at the lake you can do them at home wherever okay and then the top prof professionals scientists Harvard graduates all these awesomely smart um, accomplished and totally certified people create products like Shakeology or the Beachbody performance line which by the way this year is the performance line the official performance line for the North American Ironman that should probably speak to its legitimacy like legitimacy right if if anything else I say doesn't that should speak to it okay we have the top professionals in the world creating these products and programs so yes we have products and programs which is amazing I love I love 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 that I get to um, help people get started with that but the difference between Beachbody and other companies is that Beachbody promotes a lifestyle whereas most companies will sell you a product and that's it right like I have friends that do network marketing and other in like skincare or makeup or um, what else is there I don't know skincare makeup that's all I can think of right now lipstick god stop adding me to lipstick groups okay I have friends that do network marketing in those kind of companies and that's fine that is so amazing I'm glad that there's opportunities for e-commerce to advance because that's where our job system is going it's going to the internet and technology right we're just a leg ahead here being a beach body coach but I get to promote a lifestyle I get to help people literally change their lives with these programs and products oh my god Terry you're amazing that is awesome okay I get to help people change their lives with these programs and products but I get to offer them my support and my love and my friendship and my groups and my time and we get to all do this together right so instead of just pushing a product on somebody I can be like listen I use this shit it's changed my life do you want to try it okay and that's the difference sorry I'm talking really fast I'm gonna take a swig all right so this is how the coaching opportunity came along I feel like I should probably tell you guys about this because um, just to give you a little bit of a backstory where is it here I have it in my notes oh well can't find it so I'm gonna have to make I'm gonna have to do it okay 
John Cogden and Carl Dykler are the two founding uh, creators of Team Beachbody. And this was 20 years ago, Beach, or 17 years ago this year actually. Beachbody is 17 and the coaching opportunity is 10 this year, which means it's a baby. It, the coaching opportunity is such a baby and it has produced so many success stories. If you guys had a chance to check out any of those success stories that I posted prior to this in the group, do so afterwards because it's seriously unreal. It's literally everyday normal people like me, like you, like Maddie, Jordana, Tara, Sandy. It's everyday normal people who decided to go for it, right? Decided to take a chance, stayed committed, stayed consistent. That's my superpower, if you're wondering, is consistency, right? And saw massive success. It's only a 10-year-old opportunity. And to think that there are so many, like, Money is, I don't want to get it, I'll get into money a little bit. Money is not the reason why we do this. But to think that it, that coaching opportunity has created so many millionaires, like, pff, blows my mind, right? It takes most people, when they start up a franchise or some kind of small business or company, it takes them two or three years to get out of the red, okay? And with Beachbody Coaching, you make an income right off the bat, right? Like, you make a weekly paycheck, not just, like, coins or tokens or a car or something those are fun too but that's not gonna pay the bills thank you very much right you make a weekly income a legitimate job with a t4 this is a business opportunity and you are not in the red at all because your sign up is literally free when you start with a challenge pack which most people do anyways because they try Shakeology in a program and they're like oh yeah I'm hooked can I uh, sign up for that for free sweet thanks I'll sign up for my six-figure business now great Right? And to disclaim, of course, you have to put in the effort and the work necessary to create success, but your success is a direct reflection of how many people you help, which is an amazing thing. Right? It's just amazing. Okay, so, oh yeah, I was going to tell you guys how the coaching opportunity came about. John Cognon and Carl Deichler got together and they created a um, infomercial fitness company called Beachbody, right? One of their first programs was P90, um, P90X, sorry, with Tony Horton. Okay, so they started distributing these like DVDs of this workout program. They had like Activit, I think, at the time. They didn't have Shakeology just yet. And so they were sending out these like workout programs. There was a bunch of other ones too, like Slim and Six was one of the first ones, Hip Hop Abs. So they got these trainers and they started working with them. They started noticing on like MSN chat boards, like message boards, they started noticing that people were posting their results. And then the people that were seeing these people's results were commenting and being like, where did you get that? I want in on this. And then they were buying the programs themselves. They were sharing their results. More people were commenting and being like, where did you get your results? And so it was network marketing, word of mouth marketing before it was even a thing. Okay. And so John Cogden and Carl Dykler were like, man, we need to capitalize on this. We need to first of all, compensate these people for helping us sell more programs and helping people end the trend of obesity themselves. And second of all, we need to <coughs> capitalize on this because this is a really great business opportunity. Thus, the coaching opportunity was born. Okay, so 10 years ago, they decided, you know what, we are going to compensate the people who start as customers and they try Shakeology and they try a program and they get in the support group and they love it and they see results because everybody does because this shit works. Okay, and then we're going to compensate them for the amount of people that they then help by sharing their results and the people that they help get set up with a program and Shakeology and a support group and then they see results and then more people start to see results and it's a snowball effect of awesomeness, right? God, I get so fired up about this stuff because I love it. I love it so much. Anyways, that's how the coaching opportunity was born. It was just simply born out of the desire to end the trend of obesity. And if you guys go to Carl Dickler's Facebook page, he gets so lit up. Like every live video he does, I watch and I'm just like, yes, 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 yes. Like he is such a transparent, just awesome, genuine person. And his true number one passion in life is ending the trend of obesity. He's obsessed with it. And that's why this company does as well as it does because it's not just about weight loss. It's not just about getting quick results, right? Even though I'm pretty sure three weeks is as quick as any, like that's really quick to see results. But it's not about this like get skinny, lose weight, do a rep, eat a pill, now I'm just getting weird and singing, right? But it's about a long-term lifestyle that's maintainable, that you can drink wine with and still get jacked, right? And feel amazing about yourself and all the while be supported by this amazing community of people who are also on their journey, right? That's what it's about. It's just about supporting one another and trying to be the best people that we can be because that's how you change the world. You start from here and work your inside way out. Okay, so I'm just going to talk about, um, oh, I'm so fun to see you guys. Jordana, what is up? And Kaylee and Carly and Taylor. Woo! Okay, I'm going to talk about money a little quickly because I know that for a lot of people, they're super curious. They're like, 
do you work at this like pyramid scheme company? Like, how does it work? Okay, I'm gonna just come up with real quick and say this real quick education sesh. Pyramid schemes are actually legal. So if you hear about one that's running, you should probably report it because it's totally legal. Network marketing companies have to go through a very, very, very intense and strict, like super strict, we're talking more strict than most businesses like Walmart, which is a pyramid-like corporation, okay? We're talking like super strict standards that the government sets for network marketing companies that they have to abide by, otherwise they can't have their business and they can't have a legitimate uh, income earning opportunity for anybody involved, okay? I get a T4, I make a weekly paycheck, it is direct deposited into my account. I don't make money off of my coaches, right? When my coaches are successful, we make a cumulative, a cumulative team volume, which then is Beachbody paying, not me dipping in, Okay, difference. So Beachbody paying money for us for being successful as a team. Okay, that's the only way that you could ever be like, ah, it's kind of like pyramid because it's, well, yeah, like it's set up in a triangle because wherever you start, you're going to have two legs and people are going to join. But if I'm up here and Kaylee joins down here, she can make more money than me. It doesn't matter where you are. People make more money than the CEO. And I don't know any other company where somebody can make more money than the CEO. I honestly, like show me a company that does that and I will eat. I'm not wearing socks, but you know where I'm going with this. Okay, so this is how you make money. I would coach legitimately for free 99, but because a girl's gotta eat, and this is a legitimate income earning opportunity, and I've been able to replace my teaching income with this, I gotta share how you make money. So, I make 25% commission on everything uh, that I sell, okay? I say share because honestly, I just share the shit that's working for me and people are like, hey, what are you doing? I wanna do that too. And I'm like, hey, sweet, that's what network marketing is. Here you go, here's my link. Buy this program, I'll support you. Here's my group, right? That's, it's just, that's how it works. It's just paying it forward is all it is. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I make 25% on everything and I save 25% on everything. Hello, I'm Ukrainian, I love saving money. Okay, your commission really quickly adds up. So I'll give you a uh, for example. I don't wanna get too intense with the numbers and confuse people, but this is an example. If I help three people, okay, just one, two, three. Okay, so like your brother, your sister, and your cousin Fran. If I help these three sweet humans out and get them set up with a challenge pack for the month of April, yeah, that's a month we're in. And I help them get set up with a challenge pack and I get them in my group and I'm uh, supporting them on their journey and they're all starting a different program, it doesn't matter, right? The commission from those three people that I'm helping and supporting and helping them to create healthy long-term habits, that commission alone pays for my personal love of my life, monthly Shakeology and my coach fee to have a business, okay? Just three people, okay? So for example, I'll give you guys another example. I have made it my personal mission since I started coaching two years ago to help at least, at least five new people every single month, which I've done. So yay, that's exciting. Something I'm very proud of, right? I work my butt off and I help five new people at least every single month to get set up in one of my groups, to get set up in my fitness community, to start up on a program, to start Shakeology, to stick with it, to build these healthy habits so that they can create um, long-term su success for themselves, right? Because I'm so sick of seeing people yo-yo and feel so crappy about themselves. And if you guys have been watching me for more than like an hour on social media, you know that I'm super passionate about body image and I'm super passionate about mindset work. And I just get really fired up about it. And so I really like when I get to share that passion with others and help them to change uh, their lifestyles for the better so they can empower themselves. I think there's something super awesome about that. Okay, so I make 25%, I save 25%. There's a bunch of other ways that you can earn money. So I'll just kind of go over them a little bit so you guys know that there's more ways. But I just wanna say this, your income as a Beachbody coach is totally dependent on the effort that you put in, okay, the amount of, care that you have here, right? You can't just get into this and say like, I'm gonna make a million dollars, I'm gonna do so good and then not help anybody. Like, get lost, that is not how this works, okay? But when you come into this business and you're like, listen, I'm super like lit up right now, Shakeology just healed my IBS and this program helped me feel fit and strong again, I'm so pumped, I wanna share this and pay this forward, that's the person that's going to be successful because that's the person that's going to give up TV a couple nights a week. They're going to get up half an hour earlier so they can get their workout in and send out some invites, right? They're going to, whatever, they're gonna sacrifice that one piece of cake so that they can hit their goal for for their program, right? So it's, and not to say you should restrict, I don't want that to come off like that, but it's the people that are successful in this business are the people that care because your success is directly reflective of how many people you help 
and you helping your team be successful, which is amazing. It supports a team-like environment, and it's never like a me versus Carly or me versus Jenna or me. Like, it's never pitting people against each other for success. And this is something I, I can lead into, I guess. When you become a coach, there is only one you. There will always only be one you, and your specific formula and spice mix that you bring to the table is just you, right? So you can't come in here and say, like, mm, Marie, you're pretty successful, like, I don't think I could be a coach because like I don't know how to do what you do and, and I think that you would get all the people. Like I've heard that before, you'd get all the people. Are you serious? There are actually multi-millions of people on Facebook. Every day new people are joining too. Every day people turn 18 and join Facebook, right? That's how old somebody has to be to become a coach. 18 years old, boom, done. Okay, so I'm gonna have a little try when my sister's only hit 18, but that's a different conversation. Okay, but the thing about it is there are almost, I would say, there are about 400,000 Beachbody coaches. And because there's different levels varying of people who are actually actively working the business or you just sign up for the discount or you're in between and you want a hobby coach and make some extra money for groceries and gas, like all those levels are fine. There are like 400,000 Beachbody coaches and I know of mo like many couples who are married who live on the same block in the same house with the same circle of friends and the same family and they're both psych. It's like, like psychotically successful because it's your own unique flavor and brand you bring to the table, right? The people that are going to be attracted to my style of coaching are going to be attract, or the people that are not attracted to mine might be attracted to somebody else, right? And it's all, it's your story and your flavor that you bring to the table. So when you come into this and you're like, no, it's already too saturated. The market's like too busy. There's too many Beachbody coaches. Man, there are 266 million people who are obese in North America alone. Right, and we are spreading international this year throughout the UK. <sighs> That's amazing, right? I already have friends in Europe that I'm like, oh my god, we get to work together soon. I'm super pumped, and they're like, sweet, keep me posted. I'm in Germany, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm kind of jealous. Okay, but the market is not too saturated. So many people need what we have to offer, and you guys, I'm sure that most of the people that are watching this video, if not all, have experienced to some degree the level of awesomeness that is Beachbody and Beachbody programs and products and a coach slash the community. Anyways, now I'm super rambling. So, going back to money, you make 25%, you save 25%, you make what's called a team bonus cycle. This is essentially extra income based on, uh, extra income from Beachbody based on you building a team and helping your team succeed. So, let's, for example, I have a team of X amount of coaches. Say I help eight of my coaches see sweet re results, see sweet success, I give them the tools and the training and they, um, start being successful themselves, they start building their own teams, they start helping other people and more people. We get rewarded, we all get rewarded for that, from Beachbody as a team bonus cycle based on where we are and how big our team is. And it's a little bit complicated at first, but when you do understand it, you're like, oh sweet. Essentially it just comes down to the amount of people, just like anything, the amount of people that you help uh, to be successful, see success in whatever capacity, that's how you know that you're successful. So that's all that. Um, we also have like, oh my God, there's just so many different ways to earn money and all this stuff that's so awesome. So I'm going to Mexico, paid by Beachbody next April. Sorry, correct this. Brandon and I are going to Mexico and staying at an all-inclusive four and a half star resort for seven days, paid by Beachbody because I did my job. Okay, this company is incredible and while you make a weekly paycheck and you have opportunities for bonuses and extra commissions and all this other stuff, you also have an opportunity to win free trips, to win prizes every month. They give out um, this thing called Success Club Prizes. So for example, if you help three people in the month of April, they had a prize where they would give out free packets of um, Energize. It's an all-natural lemonade uh, pre-workout, which I'm obsessed with if you haven't seen it on my social media. Okay, I'm not breathing right now, I'm talking really fast. but. That's for example, they just like send out these epic prizes every month. Oh, sorry, the prize for April is a sweet Team Beachbody, um, like Herschel or whatever backpack. So everybody that helps three people this month gets a backpack. That's not instead of your wage. That's not instead of your bonus or your commission and all that stuff. That is on top of it. They're just like, hey, sweet, thank you for doing your job. Here's a treat. Go travel. Here's a free trip and a backpack and some extra income. Like, have fun. Okay, so anyways, that's what I wanted to say about income. If there are more questions about income and stuff, I go over it in the coach training. You're never left alone when you join our team. It's all, um, we're, we're a team, okay? So naturally as a team, we stick together and I mean, you can go solo if you want to, but the training and everything is provided uh, for you, okay? So you don't have to worry about going at it alone or reinventing the wheel. Okay, um, uh, I 
don't know if I want to talk about that. Are there any questions right now? I just want to, maybe I'll answer a couple questions and then I'll wrap up here because I feel like I'm giving you guys a lot of stuff to digest. Oh, I know what I want to talk about. Okay, I just have a couple more things I want to talk about and then I can finish here. Okay, I get, uh, I get some... Some objections, not a lot, but I get some objections from people who say I don't have time. Okay? Sorry, I'm just going to take a quick swig. I get some objections from people who say I don't have time to coach. I'm just going to plug this in. Beep. Okay. And my answer to I don't have time is, yes, you do. <laughs> because you have the same 24 hours as Beyonce or Oprah or Mark Zuckerberg or anybody else, Elon Musk, whatever, right? But it's how you spend your time that matters. And so when I started coaching, I was substitute teaching pretty well full-time. I was waitressing four nights a week at Sabroso. I was teaching two fitness classes, like twice a week fitness classes, and I started beach body coaching. So I technically had four jobs, okay? And while I wouldn't totally suggest that because I kind of ran myself ragged a bit, all it took was me waking up an extra half an hour to 45 minutes early so that I could get my invites out for people to join my current group that month so that I could answer some messages and questions from people from the day before and so that I could get my workout in and read some personal development in the morning before I went off to work. That was it. That's all the time that I had and so I just used it to the best of my ability. Now I have so much more time because I have created for myself the success that I desired through hard work in the last two years of coaching and so now I actually Okay, technically I'm teaching right now in the afternoons because of a weird turn of events and I'm kind of helping out the school and stuff, but chose that. Okay, great. But if I wanted to, I could just be beach buddy coaching right now and that to me is so powerful. That to me is so, um, well, empowering because I did that for myself, you know, and you can too because if I can do this, so can you. Anyways, I wanted to cover just a couple um, objections and then I'll finish up and then I can answer any questions if there are any. So... My three, oh, I already covered the pyramid scheme one too. Okay, my two other favorite objections that I ever come across, I just want to talk about them really quick. Number one, do I have to sell to my friends and family? So I, get, I guess I kind of went over this a little bit about like how you don't sell, you share, right? You just legitimately share what's working for you. Um, anybody that comes in, they're like, I don't want to be annoying to my friends and family. Do, am I annoying? Like go look on my Facebook and my Instagram. Am I annoying with my posts? Because I hope not. I just try to share value as much as possible. And if people don't like that, and if there's people that are like Debbie Downers or negative Nancys that want to come at me and be a hater, then that's not who I'm trying to help anyways, right? I'm trying to help the person that sees my post and they're like, oh my God, you just spoke to my soul. Thank you. Like I just, that was the motivation I needed to put down this third sandwich and go for a walk around the block. You know what I mean? So those are the people that I'm looking for anyways. I'm not looking for the negative Nancys because they're going to come around. I promise because her people hurt people all the time, right? And it's important to know that it's them, not you. So do I have to sell it to my friends and family? No. But here's the thing. When you find something that is changing your life, like when I was like, man, my IBS is gone and I'm down 10 pounds and I can do 30 push-ups and I can um, I'm making a weekly income from my phone for posting on Facebook and helping people get set up with a program and running this fun group where I post like fitness memes and stuff in it of course you're gonna want to share that with people right why would you not want to share that with your friends and family who are the closest people to you okay they're not always going to support and they're not always, not always going to understand I've been through that, but you don't have to sell to anybody. You just share what's working with you for you and the people that want to join you and the people that want to um, experience that, they come around or they don't and that's okay, right? So you don't have to sell to anybody. You just have to share what's working for you. That's it. And then the last thing I want to talk about is do I have to be super fit to be a coach? I've got, I get this all the time. People are like, I'm not at my, uh, my fitness level that I want to be at. I feel like I'm overweight. I feel like I should start coaching when I'm there, okay? and I need to just like pound this point home, there is no there. There is never a there, right? You are on this journey, okay, in whatever capacity that looks like. You could be at chapter one, you could be at chapter 35, it doesn't matter, but you are on a journey and it's just sharing that journey. That's what coaching is, right? I'm okay with being vulnerable and sharing myself on social media and sharing my journey because I know that there is crazy strength in being vulnerable. I know that my story can inspire at least one other person and I can inspire at least one other person to change their life and do better for themselves by themselves, right? I, then I know that I've done my job. 
because I've, I've inspired that one person. I know it's been more than that because I've been doing it for two years. So, <laughs> and I've worked with over 500 people. So I know that it's been more than one, but what I'm trying to get at here is you don't have to be any level of fit or healthy to start coaching, right? You don't have to be any level of fit or healthy to have the desire to help people better their lives, starting with yourself, right? And so my last thing that I'll say about coaching is just essentially it comes down to wanting to be the change that you see in the world. And I think that that's really important. And I think in a world that really promotes um, hustle and grind and comparison and negativity and tearing people down, this is such a beautiful opportunity because not only do I get to make a weekly paycheck at it, but I get to better myself mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, friendships wise, financially, like in all these different areas because of one job, right? Like it's a job, but it doesn't feel like that because I love it so much. Anyways, so the last thing I'm going to say, if this video totally didn't put you off because I definitely did ramble, I'm sorry, sometimes happens and I also kind of flush from having a couple sips of wine here, that's ridiculous, um, but if you are feeling like I kind of want to try this, I'm going to offer something to you guys that I have actually never offered before and while whenever you join as a coach on our team, the training is offered to you, starting on Monday, I'm hosting something totally new, it is a five day, um, super basic, super to the point. You do these five days and you are ready to rock and roll and run and be successful at uh, coach training. And so I'm only offering it to people, to the people that joined this, um, sneak peek group webinar as this year. It's only for you. It's literally an exclusive offer for you guys. If you sign up this weekend as a coach, that training is for you starting on Monday. So if you want to think about it tonight, great. If you want to contact the coach that uh, invited you to this group right now or like 20 minutes ago when you did and you're like actually I think I want to try this I think it's for me do that okay so just reach out to the coach who invited you ask any questions that you have I'm going to go through and just see super quick if there are any questions on this video I don't know if there are just some loving from some cuties uh, nice Tara Hubbard sign me up that is awesome sauce Jordana, you're so wonderful. What if I already signed up as a coach? Then you're a coach, and then that's amazing. Oh, you're talking about the training. Yeah, you're in here, aren't you? It's exclusive to this group. So if you were a coach and you signed up as a coach at, under Boomerang Wellness Coach, you are 100% welcome to join the training on Monday. Um, I'm gonna sign off of this video so that it goes up as a recording and the people that couldn't watch it can watch it um, after the fact. But I might put up a couple of the resources in the event page just if you guys are curious to learn some more. We have an epic team page and our team is made up of, oh my god, everybody, like teachers, nurses, care aides, pharmacists, youth care workers, moms, dads, military people, like just literally anybody, real estate agents, everybody can be a coach, right? But it just takes having a heart for helping people to be successful. Anyways, I am signing off. I love you all. Thank you so much for tuning in and spending some Thursday night with me. Oh, what you need to do over the weekend to get started on Monday for that training? Ooh, Jordana, you just need to message me. That's it. That's all you got to do. And you actually already grabbed a challenge pack, so you're good to go and you can sign up for free. That's different than Beachbody Coach. I better replay and catch from the start. Yes. Okay, Ali, watch the video from the start. See if that answers your question. And if it didn't, then um, either ask it again or ask the coach who invited you. And Caitlin, you're so sweet. Love you. Okay, you guys, I hope you have an awesome night. I hope that this helped. I don't know if it did, and I feel like I kind of rambled, but at, coaching is simple, right? It's just good people helping good people. That's all it is. It's an awesome, totally legit opportunity to have a job and love what you do. Okay, see ya. I'm out of here.